टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज द ग्रीक पीरियड द ग्रीक्स वर बेसिकल फिलासफर्स द मेन नेम्स ऑफ द ग्रीक्स आर प्लेटो अरिस्टोटल एंड डेमोक्रेटस देर आर मैनी अदर्स कंट्रीब्यूटेड अ लॉट इन द नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल वेज टू द अर्ली डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री द फिलासफर्स or were of opinion that everything is made up of four basic elements which are earth air fire and water they further explained that earth was dry and cold water was cold hot and wet air was cold wet and hot the romans developed the chemical arts they worked in art and craft their main work was in the milling of pottery the modern period this period started from the robert boyle he affectionately known as the father of modern chemistry he gave the ideas that chemistry should be regarded as a systematic investigation of nature with the sole aim of promoting knowledge a lot of discoveries were made during later years the second modern scientist j black he made a study of carbon dioxide j priestley discovered oxygen sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride gas chile discovered chlorine Cavendish discovered hydrogen Leweiser discovered that the oxygen constituted about 1/5 of air John Dalton made a great stride in chemistry with his atomic theory of matter he was the sci- scientist who explained the atom that atom is an active tiny particle of matter the idea of atoms and molecules became became the established fact and the concept of atomic weight was given by john dalton zelius introduced the idea of symbol formula and chemical equations to make the study more systematic Mendeleev discovered the periodic arrangement of the elements the ionic theory and laws of electrolysis were put forward by arrhenius and michael faraday j j thomson henry becquerel madame curie neil bohr and on rutherford led to the discoveries of structure of atom radioactivity they open the door of curiosity topic is the chemistry and society importance of chemistry in our society why we study chemistry there are three significant reasons to study chemistry the first reason is that chemistry has a important practical application in our society the development of life saving drugs is one and a complete list 
would touch upon most areas of modern technology as we know that the life saving drugs are the are developed and manufactured by the knowledge of chemistry chemistry also plays a vital role in our society chemistry is very chemistry in every field is a useful intellectual tool for making important decision the role of chemistry in prevailing society is of enormous benefits chlorine has become an important commercial chemical today chlorine has turned into the main elements for producing more than 1000 chlorine compound which are great importance in chemical industry producing polyvinyl chloride plastic pipe other chlorine compounds such as bleaching agent disinfectant solvent pesticide refrigerant flame retardant and drugs chlorine is the best disinfectant in the universe as cholera typhoid fever and dysentery are the dangerous diseases which are caused due to the impure drinking water all such water borne diseases are all but eliminated from most of the parts of the world when water supplies are treated with chlorine which kills pathogen organisms chemistry plays an important role in modern world chemistry plays a role in the following fields in medicinal field in industrial field in environmental fields and in agricultural field in medicinal field the chemistry gives us the methods techniques and procedures to manufacture different medicines in agricultural field fertilizers are manufactured to enrich the soil scientific approach in chemistry the steps through which chemistry developed more and more is called scientific approach in chemistry it consists of following four steps observation hypothesis theory and scientific law now we are going to explain observation observation is the basic tool to elaborating a phenomena it varies from person to person according to one own skill observation opens new windows for the curiosity new windows of the curiosity observation opens new windows of the curiosity now we are going to explain the hypothesis after observation of a phenomenon scientists ponder over it it and carries out relevant experiments and arrives at a possible explanation for the nature of the phenomena this explanation which is under the trial idea is known as hypothesis and now we are going to explain the theory when the hypothesis is supported by a large number of different types of observation and experiments by other workers on the same phenomena then a theory is developed a good theory predict new facts and figures unrevealing new relationships between the naturally occurring phenomena scientific law when a theory is tested again and again and is found fit according to the facts giving value predictions is called a scientific law 